Having control over gravity is like having telekinesis. In some sense of the imagination, Franklin Hall has been working on development of practical teleportation at a Canadian research facility when an unexpected explosion, of course, freak accident, right, gifted him with power to control the fundamental force of gravity. Ended up taking control of the facility on some dictator type stuff, declaring himself as the god Graviton. He went to crazy lengths to try to earn the affection of a freaking woman named Judy. He ended up becoming obsessed and kind of end up losing control of his power. Guidebooks seem to praise him on how he has great physical stamina. They imply it's augmented by his power. Thanks to being a gravity manipulator, he can make large buildings float. He does this stuff casually, guys, make large areas of land float because of his gravity manipulation is just that insane. Yeah, he can just lift up cities at will. This guy, Graviton, lifted up the entire Manhattan Island himself. There are actually estimations out there of what Manhattan would actually weigh. 125 million tons he can lift up. One can say he can lift up with casual ease. Implied to be a good challenge for God of Tier characters like Thor, like throwing buildings at Thor. He lifts up the entire daily bugle up more than once. This building is huge. All of that madness he can lift up straight up out of the ground. I will admit he has one of the most flashy looking powers. I mean, he can send police and helicopters 10,000 miles away. Armored transport vehicles are easy to him. He can literally make the floor lighter than helium so he can protect himself with debris. He can even form this stuff into incredible and heavy weapon, compressing it into a cannonball to hurt you with it and make it real heavy to where it does damage you instead of not being light as helium. Characters like Vision, he can make him fly upward. Literally levitates the Avenger, does the same to Wonder Man, somebody that's in the powerhouse ranges as well, levitates Tigra, sent Spider-Man flying into the sky, no gravity. Seriously, how do you fight this guy if you can't fly? He can just, like, any powerhouse tier that can't fly, he can just make you have no gravity and then you just, you just go hurling into space. One of the best displays of power is how he fares against powerhouse tears like how flooring characters like wonder man even characters like iron man who can lift thousands and thousands of tons he can still floor them no surprise that hawkeye and mockingbird can't stand though they're not necessarily in the powerhouse tier so they shouldn't be able to stand necessarily the fact he has enough raw power to force wonder man to the bottom of a pool and he can't really just overpower it kind of lets you know that graviton is in that powerhouse ranges just being able to forcibly keep him down there while deflecting blast from iron man it, like he's still down there deflecting blast from iron man he's doing all of this while wonder man's still down there suffering while fighting all these people at the same time iron man mockingbird and etc hawkeye blast them away he's still down there suffering iron man trying to punch through his graviton force field he's still down there suffering <laughs> all this debris he's really good at multitasking with his raw power this is a really good ability for team busting. He made Captain America's shield weigh so much that even Wonder Man's having trouble picking it up as strong as Wonder Man is. Don't get it twisted. He can blast characters like Wonder Man to where they can't stand. You know, they can fight against it. You know, he can't just completely immobilize them all the time. That time, Rogue had Wonder Man's power. He had enough raw power to make her temporarily stop moving, letting you know his power. Even though powerhouses can power through, though, with a lot of effort. He will literally threaten to collapse an entire building because he has that kind of power. Structural collapse, he said. He crushes Atlas and he's other thunderbolt he can multiply the weight of something by thousand made the thunderbolts craft weigh 10 times the what it would to make it crash knocked out wonder man in the process collapsing the building on top of him knocking him out powerhouse tears sleep time broke iron spider's rib vision get blasted back makes moonstone sink tiger tried to leap at him go to the ground street tears why would y'all even try to approach graviton you know it ain't gonna go well if you try to talk back to him he can just knock you out with ease makes songbirds shoulder units weigh several times Ton. he can make gas heavy as lead pull a gun on him he can just grab the gun hitting spider-man with the gravity wave he's using 10 times of gravity spider-man is kind of lifting up graviton simply cheats and uses a thousand times his normal weight spider-man had to get some assistance on that even super strong beings like the thing he's punching graviton he's literally smiling then sends the thing backwards because of his power kind of immobilizing and trapping him to where the thing can't really move as strong as the thing is can send other powerful people with debris flying into a building, Wonder Man powered Rogue throws his debris at him. He simply repels it back. He's always blasting the Thunderbolts. Even giants that weigh hundreds of tons, he's just sending them back. Because he has that much blast power and they all look kind of sleepy. A few dozen armored aliens get blasted away. Repels you, you're cute, Torin. He can crumble stuff, like compact them. Like compacts this suit made of beetle armor, compresses matter into a cannonball like I shown earlier, use it as a weapon to make it like a deadly weapon on you. Iron Man and etc. thought that Graviton had compacted a person. They even state, what a horrible way to die. Enough blast power to blow up the top of a building. He sent Scarlet Witch to the atmosphere in this occasion with the Avengers. Always fight. Yeah, he said, bye Wanda. Can swirl the entire room around and just pin you to the wall to where you can't even fight back. Has legit full-blown telekinesis when you have gravity manipulation. You can pick it up like this or you can pick it up and move it to the side and then hit you 
you like, like any direction. He can make gravity go like this. He can make gravity go like that. Throwing people and cars around is nothing to him. Walls get out of my way. More walls get out of my way and you get out of my way too, Thor. Make Spider-Man's webbing float like cotton candy. Stops Miles' webbing, then immobilizing them in the process. Same with immobilizing Shuri. Yawn. Another occasion of a building getting dismantled. You got Dr. Voodoo over here and Scarlet Witch here. Waves that are about to crash. You can just stop them. Kind of hard to get a reading on his speed with just, you know, comic panels. There's implications he can move like a blur, I guess. I would say he definitely passed supersonic at the very least, right? He can fly and literally take his allies with him, make them float with him. Seriously, guys, who plays chess upside down? <laughs> He's surprisingly very precise with his ability. Like literally sculpting grains of sand into yin yang. Like this is some artistic type stuff. Graviton, you might want to be an artist, man. He's pretty freaking precise doing this. He's forming the sand into a face shape. Isn't that epic? This is the same guy that can make a pencil weigh a ton, guy. He can make you fall any direction he chooses. Even radio waves can be bent to the wheel of his gravity. Something that's kind of considered intangible. This guy can bend light to spy on Tigra miles away. Reflected light. Insane. He states his powers grant him control over anything with mass, including light waves. I altered all the light leaving Earth. They get real scientific in this comment. They talk about the contemporary scientific theory, the unified field theory, that four forces account for everything in nature. First and foremost, gravity, the attraction between two bodies. And there's electromagnetism, the attraction between the particles in an atom. He's trying to break it down why he can do other things than make stuff heavy. Because it's scientifically explained. The strong force, the attraction between particles and an, an atom's nucleus. And finally, the weak force, the attraction between matter and antimatter, the attraction that leads to death. He deflames human torch by taking away the air around him without air he can't stay aflame sleep time he created a dense fog he draws gas to his island from a nearby world power incarnate but he has great senses so if you try to sneak up on him he can sense you he can sense disruptions in the gravimetric field he can sense gravimetric anomalies from far away he finds you anywhere in the world stated here there's this one time he was in los angeles right graviton literally lifted up a small stone in china while he's in los angeles and sit it through the target's head so nowhere in the planet are you safe i mean he's the guy that sensed the gravity of the cosmic cube when rogue is always stealing people's power with his powers she was able to feel the earth spin so it kind of lets you know what he can do because she kind of stole his powers right here the entire crater field can kind of make it into a mountain an entity made of sound cannot exist in a vacuum as for you charcoal i can reform myself i know he knows they say you can't beat me because i can reform myself i wish to challenge you a being of bioelectric energy travels along the electromagnetic spectrum which in turn requires gravity for bandwidth cohesion so if i integrate gravity around you there is nothing to keep your corporal form together this kind of shows his intellect on how he can science his way to defeat you would not necessarily beat you just with raw blast power he can just scientific his way beat you he just created a high gravity field around her just literally trapped her in the process literally stuck can cocoon you in a force field he does this a lot cocoon you to where you just stuck he can grant his buddies the power of flight with his gravimetric ability one can say this is a form of power bestow because he can kind of make you bulletproof because he can affect the way gravity affects around you that's how these folks are flying this one guy tried to beat graviton from the inside out the shadow type being that went inside his body graviton simply could counter this he simply had to eliminate his access to the dark force he separates from the rotation of the planet and turn earth's orbit which instantly shunts him to the single greatest gravitational force in the solar system the sun the overwhelming flood of light cuts Smuggler off in mid teleport to free himself from this darkness but trying to beat him up from the inside out. The fact he can shield himself from powers like Wonder Man and Iron Man, cushions most of his blows from Wonder Man, blocks Iron Man's repulses, got all this crap floating like bruh. These jets try to shoot at him and ain't cutting it. This force field was generated by him and they even said it would take a, a nuke to pierce that thing. Hawkeye's arrows are a joke to his protective shield. Of course bullets are a joke if he can make his minions have bulletproofness. More implications he's in that powerhouse tier. I mean, even characters like Thor, a true deity, gets his stuff blocked by graviton shielding, even his lightning. Thor is the type of character who could blast away the solar system if you wanted to. Songbird sound spears are nothing to him. He's durable enough. Thanks to his gravity type shielding to withstand team busting attacks from multiple members of the Thunderbolts on this occasion and still fight him all off and it's not just easy work for them to defeat him like I shown this part earlier. It's almost like his shielding is on him like subconsciously all the time. Thing is a powerhouse tier. I can pin all y'all against the wall. Take attack from Atlas. 
Cosmic Spider-Man even blasts him. He's not just easy work and gets back up though, but it hurt though. We'll stand Shuri's electricity. I showed a lot of this early already. You rarely ever see him get one-on-one. -on -one. It's always multiple Avengers fighting him, like Rogue and Dr. Voodoo here. Wasp, Rogue, like I showed how he put the gravity on her. Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, immobilizes a woman. Even fought powerhouse tears like Black Bolt in a little scuffle, taking blasts from him. You guys know of Graviton's base form, but then there was a point where he had this gravity creature form that looks very freaky. His gravity ability seems to have ridiculously far reach, reaching all the way to the sun. They talk about how a beam of directional gravity spikes sunward. There is a gargantuan ball of flaming gases, terrific, cracking from the great star's surface and send it hurling back a blinding solar flare towards Earth, towards the Himalayas. He literally said, let me go to the sun and grab something from the sun. Energy from the sun back to where I'm at. Black holes is a common thing that powerhouses do in Marvel. This guy literally created a wall of miniature black holes. If they touch you, they'll pass through you, taking fragments of your own mass with them. A swarm of miniature black holes that threatens to engulf the swiftly shifting black bolt. Just look how powered up he is. You look at the size comparison to him to the thing. The thing isn't a little being, by the way. They even go as far as saying he's 50 foot. The reason why he was even like this, there was like a little malfunction with his abilities to where it caused him to absorb entire mass of the Sky Island, where he states he'd become a living black hole. They describe it transformed into a sentient pocket universe. His gravitational aura increased to such proportions that it warps space around him, rendering him visible only by distortions he creates. So technically he shouldn't even be visible, but he's visible by the distortion he creates because he's a living pocket universe. Obviously he didn't stay like this, but in this state there's implications he's mightier than he's ever been before but it's like a malfunction type of thing he's destroying buildings by accident of course helicopters ain't gonna cut it bullets ain't gonna cut it he's just on a totally different level right now bullets wouldn't even work in normal state though so the thing throws all this at him like all that throws at him like a frisbee and it deflects <laughs> takes my best shot they state he has the mass of an island by the way he supposedly got swallowed by the very universe he has sought to rule because of this unstable new form he had you know they even stated in handbooks he can create force field that can withstand nuclear weaponry nuclear weaponry he can withstand i don't take handbooks as bible because a lot of this stuff is oversimplifications but yeah this seems decent yet we have another handbook entry in this handbook entry look how they got his strength very low because that's not what he specializes in but he basically has strength thanks to his energy projection or gravity manipulation i would say it needs to be higher but that's none of my business you know what i mean deflecting light was not an outlier they even show it here in the guidebook and they talk about how you can deflect light you can also pause the video to see all this lore right here if you want to a lot of lore in the official handbook as you can see right here going over a lot of things that i pretty much said already but except on this power grid they have his energy projection a little bit higher i pretty much agree with this one though seven he has high energy projection i would say gamers handbooks be like iron man even says he can crush stuff in nanosecond which is one billionth of a second by the way i don't know how much respect this guy needs i mean the fact that he has scarlet witch wanda up against the wall and can't move wonder man can't move iron man can't move even vision these are at least a few solid powerhouses and he just got them immobilized with his intense gravity blast power wise with just the wave of his hand i mean he did endure a complete speed blitz from quicksilver and said be gone we get an idea of his speed they say he can fling himself at near light speed have your doubts about the feet i brought up earlier about him lifting up the entire manhattan it is confirmed that manhattan is two miles wide manhattan island is roughly 13 miles long and about 2.3 miles wide it is wide as it's confirmed that graviton literally lifted up something into the air four miles across even stated in the guidebook showed a part of this earlier suspends this entire city half a mile above the earth what if i told you graviton can even counter intangibility they even state they think they can do it graviton's feel by turning intangible vision my god a surge of anti-gravitons dispersed his atomic structure so he can counter intangibility to some degree graviton can even bounce back god of strength characters like hercules the same hercules that can lift the heavens match thor multiple times lift up cities this same hercules also the same hercules that can literally lift entire heavens and relieve atlas of his duty like myth feet so this isn't an outlier yet he had problems getting through graviton's shields and force fields or just got bounced back from graviton in general for the most part that's just about going to do it he's a powerhouse tier and he can probably generate the force of black holes and even characters like wonder man can't hardly stand and he's a thor tier not to mention that graviton has matched thor with his raw blast power on a consistent basis where thor can't just outright beat him this dude is on his thanos stuff taking out this many heroes and knocking them out and just levitating them above everything i see hulk i see invisible woman i see thor i see iron man i see scarlet witch i see she hulk i see the thing these are some freaking big name characters and i see wonder man vision 
Falcon? Is that Hercules? And Black Panther? And they're all sleepy? You can't tell me he ain't no Hulk and Thor level being. But for the most part, that's just about gonna do it, everybody. He's definitely an Avenger level threat, knocking out powerhouses consistently, matching Thor. It's really just too much evidence of his power at this point, but respect him anyway. Did you guys know he was so strong? Let me know what you learned new. I'll see you guys later. But thank you for those that have donated to the channel. It really helps out a lot.